Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lizette and guys, we're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> my loophole diamond painting, yeah! The one and only diamond painting that I was allowing myself to buy during my entire stash detox. Okay, if you're new here and you're like, okay, what is she yelling about? Hi, sorry, I'm Lisette. Uh, I'm on a diamond painting stash detox, which means that I'm trying to work through all the diamond paintings that I have in my stash without buying new ones. I started in November of 2021 and now it's February 2023. So yes, I have been going for a while and the no buying part is the hardest. I have managed to finish more than half my stash uh, last year or until now. So I am doing quite well. Working on my stash, that's fun. The no buying part, not so much. Today I'm going to show you the loophole diamond painting. Are you ready guys? I'm not even ready. <laughs> okay, which company? Let's start there. The company that I ordered from guys is Craftably. Yes, Craftably. A lot of you were like, okay, you're going to order from DIY Moon Shop or Jade Gem Shop. Guys, to be honest, I was thinking of Jada Gem Shop first and that was my initial plan and then I saw this one and Jade, I am positive you will forgive me, um, FOMO hit me and I was like, ooh, this is my one and only chance because when this was originally released, I thought I heard or I saw that it was just one run or something like that. And I said to myself, if it ever comes back into stock and I'm in a position to get it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> the one that made me want to get this particular one is Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. Go check out her channel. I will link her channel in the description below. She's awesome. Oh, and of course, Jade Jade Gem Shop is linked in the description below as well. As is Craftably, which is the company that I ordered from. Because I saw this one. Uh, I saw Miranda unbox this one. I was like, oh, wow. And for me, this felt like the one that got away. This one was the one that I was most bummed about. And um, then, sorry, <laughs> guys, stay with me. Um, I'm already a couple of minutes in, but I'm taking my time because this is the one and only new thing that I can show you. <laughs> so please give me this. But then I... Um, uh, at the beginning of October, um, I was going to kind of a tricky situation uh, in my personal life and all of a sudden in the middle of the night I was just scrolling around on diamond painting companies as you do when you can't buy any diamond paintings you still check them out what's new. Logical? No, but that's just the way it is. And I saw this one on a back order possibility. No idea what a back order was. I had never, I don't even, I, okay, I barely know what pre-order is. So back order, I was like, okay, no, okay, I'm just going to go and try to get it. And it worked and I was able to get it. Haha. <laughs> so that was on October 4th and I received this one on January 3rd. So it took quite a while to get to me, but I don't mind because it's here now. Okay, enough suspense. Are you ready guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Miranda, I blame you for this one. <laughs> no, thanks so much for showing it. Right guys, here we go.
So this is my first order from Craftably. It's a family owned business, diamond painting business or craft business based in Texas. Uh, husband and wife and here on the back side of the box you see Amy. They used to have tubes but they have changed to boxes and well this is my very first. Okay guys, shall we do it together? together? Ta-da! <laughs> the Gypsy Fortune Teller. And oh, it's so pretty. It's a Cheryl Baker. And I love Cheryl Baker. I don't have any of her diamond paintings in my stash. Uh, diamond Art Club has Garnet king of the woods or something like that i'll put a photo in screen that one is definitely on my wish list there are more of them but this one and the reason why i wanted to get this one is because it's very detailed so it needs to be big and this one is big oh. let me get the plastic off Oh, this box is heavy, guys. Okay, let me open it. And I follow Cheryl Baker on Instagram. And she recently posted another beautiful piece of art that I hope someone's going to make into a diamond painting. But please don't make it limited edition because I want to be able to get it. Okay. So when you open it, it looks like this, a really large sleeve. Oh, I can see already that the canvas is really soft. Let's get it out. So this is the tool bag. And I have never, I have seen them before, but this is the first one that I'm holding. So we're going to look inside. Yes, guys, we're going to do it all. So maybe you haven't ordered from Craftably. And it, oh, there's a lot of things inside. Okay. So, Craftably, guys, the diamond painting company, all legally licensed. So that means that the artist is getting paid for the artwork that's being used. Okay. So we get a little container of wax that's beautiful. Branded. Two washi tapes. Oh, and the colors. They go great with the colors of the painting. Looks like a decent amount as well. I like the polka dots, but this one has some beautiful leaves on it. I like that as well. And then, oh, what's this? Oh, a cover miner. Oh yeah, they do that too. Okay, let me get it out. It's a heart. Oh, it's a cutie. Look. It's a heart and there's a magnet on the bottom. And you, oh, so when you pull back the plastic layer, I'll show it. Then you can hold it back with this. And I don't actually, I, I have only one cover minder, guys. So, yay! Okay, and then the toolkit itself. You get a purple tray and a diamond painting pen with a purple squishy and a four placer and a seven placer, a multi placer that you can put on the other end of your pen. Oh, and there's already a four placer on it and beautiful tweezers with yes, which are very, very pointy and sharp. I like that, but Please keep the top off when you're not using it because you're going to stab yourself. I have done that multiple times, but I love this color. I have, I don't have one in this color yet. So yay. Oh, and a little bit of purple wax. So you've got this and this. Okay. Well, nice, nice toolkit. Everything is in here that you need to diamond paint and more. Right. So I'll put that back and then we go on to the canvas. 
Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, ooh, so it's heavy. But the... Look, the canvas has a really soft and velvety feel. And look, it's port glue and scalloped edges. I'm just going to open it, guys. I can't wait any longer. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's big. It's really, really big. I'm just going to open it first and get the things. Ooh everything out and then I'm going to lay the canvas flat oh my god it's big <laughs> it is really big okay guys hang on we'll get to the canvas in a minute I just let it rest a little bit and I'm going to need to Get you in a different angle to see it. But look, okay. Two enormous bags of drills. This is the color palette. A lot of blues and reds. We'll get in there later on. I'll show them, but look, there's stickers on them. I like that. And then there's the measurements in inches but that doesn't I don't know that because I'm from Europe so we don't do inches we do it's a square diamond painting look this is the sticker really large stickers individual stickers that you can put on your containers okay we've got 65 colors okay and this is a sticker as well, I like that. And here you've got more stickers. And then we've, have we got ABs? Oh yes, we've got ABs. One, two, three, four, five, six ABs. In case you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means Northern Lights. And though that's just special drills with an extra coating to make them extra sparkly. I'll show them to you. I'm just looking at the symbols, guys, if I see anything weird or that would take me... No, I think everything's okay. Okay, now I have delayed it enough. Are you ready to see the canvas? I'm so ready. <gasps> Let's go! Right, guys, little change of location, but I just wanted to show you just how large this one is, because underneath is mini caged which is the largest diamond painting that i have done till date i'll put the measurements in screen and now there's this one okay are you ready here she is wow <laughs> oh guys she's stunning she's absolutely stunning oh you can see all the details I'm going to go over this one for you but in the top you see gypsy soul and you see all the details in the oh, Yes, this was a good choice. Oh, there's so much detail in this one, but you need the size to be able to show all those details. And they did that perfectly. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm going to take you back in and show you it up close, but I just wanted to show you the comparison. Look, because this one is 78 wide. Look, so 
it's wider than mini cage, but mini cage is longer. But look, okay, look. You see, it's as long as well. Okay, <laughs> it's that big. It's really, it's really big. And it's mine. <laughs> Right guys, sorry for that little interlude, but I just had to do it like that because immediately when I tried to put this on my table, it's like, it's not going to fit. It's that big. My God, but she's so beautiful. Look, she's stunning. I'm going to go over her, over the entire painting and uh, tell you about all the details, guys, but I can't put it all together in screen. She's just that big. Oh, I'm going to have a blast working on this one. I'm so happy with my choice. I made the right choice. Okay, I'll bring you up close and I'll show you all the details, guys. But first, the canvas itself. Look, the top layer. And that's just a pet peeve of mine, but it's really nice and thick. And I really love that. And I just want to show you the drill field first. Look, that's super clear and sticky. So that's great. And here in the left bottom side, you've got the thumbnail, the name of the painting, the Gypsy Fortune Teller. I really love that. And the artist, Cheryl Baker. And you've got a legend in the top left and the right bottom side. And in the top, there's the name of the company, Craftably. But I'm just going to show you bit by bit. So here in the top you have all those beautiful red leaves. I already love that, the way they did that. Or the way the artist Cheryl Baker did that. And then you've got the top of the gypsy card which says Gypsy Soul. Love it! Oh sorry, you can't even see soul. Like that. It says soul over here. Here you've got those little flags. And then here you've got the uh, sun and the moon together. Here you've got all these little flags and then... Oh, it's just, it's just so stunning. And here you've got a little weave basket with some pumpkins in it. And here, look, you've got some dried uh, flowers. And then in the middle... You've got the Gypsy fortune teller and I have already given her a name. Her name is Esmeralda. Just so you know. I will explain it another time, but that's the name of my Gypsy fortune teller. Then in the back you've got the curtains and then you've got those little, like, yeah, what's it called? It's like a, a beat. Uh, a curtain of, of, of beads and then here you've got the dream catcher kind of thing and here you've got two little pamphlets I think that is to tell the visitors what they can expect when they come to her and here she sits and look she's got her shawl over her shoulder oh I just love and look here in her neck the whiskers they in her eyes they are a perfect amount of green but here you see the shell and then over here over her ears and then here she's holding a teacup maybe she can read tea leaves as well then she's got little cards the cards in her hand of course to tell her fortune and here she's got some potions i like this one as well and here you've got more herbs and spices and then here, look, look at her hands. Look how they did that. Or her claws, maybe I should sit like this. Then here, look, you've got a little, maybe she's um, some incense or things like that. And then here in the bottom part, the cloth on the table and then with the little cloth on top it. Oh, all the details, <laughs> I'm just going insane and then here you've got the wheels of the cart and then on this side as well and then in the bottom part guys oh look and here she's got a little potion in her pocket as well oh i love it i love it oh and look what i just saw i hadn't even noticed 
<laughs> I like all the little details. Look. That's her tail. The tail of the gypsy fortune teller. Oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm just going to be totally honest, guys. There's going to be confetti in here. And, but in things like this, you can line block. So it's confetti and line blocking. And then when we go up again, I, I can just look at this the entire day and I can just do sections guys oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy <laughs> have you seen this one have you got this one well Miranda I know you have her oh guys it's just and the color scheme is beautiful as what I, I I'm so happy I'm going to zoom you out again guys so this is totally up my alley. A lot of confetti, a lot of color changes, beautiful color scheme, such a fun diamond painting, I think, to work on. I'm going to get her up immediately. Oh, the drills, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm going to get the drills. Guys, okay, you know how enthusiastic I am. Um, I'm I'm so I'm so I'm so happy that I have this one and uh, I don't do a lot of unboxing so sorry not professional at all but uh, who cares <laughs> I love her oh and I just saw another thing look guys here here I think this looks like the bottom of a witch broom but I don't see the stick on there so maybe this, these are just some branches hanging down I don't mind. But look, even the background, this isn't um, color blocking, it's confetti kind of style. Oh. Okay, the drills, the drills, the drills, the drills. So, as I have already shown you, we've got two large bags of drills. I'm going to open them up because I'm going to kit this one up immediately so I don't have to put them back but if you want to store them separately from your canvas you can and as you can see they use these kinds of bags for the drills. Okay where's the opening? Oh here. Oh I already see it! Oh wow! Beautiful blue grayish AB. I'm not going to go over the numbers, guys, so I'm not going to show you each individual color like this. Like this is number DMC code 3860, and then go on. But I'm going to show you the AB drills, like for instance, is this an AB drill? No, it's a normal drill, it's just really sparkly. <laughs> And of some colors you only have a few, but I'm going to show it like this so that you can see the colors. Because I always want to see the colors. And if you read really quickly, maybe you can read the numbers as well. Brown, dark brown. And a really pretty pink. But look, this Oh, both of them. These are ABs. Look, a beautiful purple blue and a pink. So these are two of them. I will show you the other ones as well. I think we got six of them. Didn't I say that? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Look, an orange one and a dark, a real. This is like a light orange and this is real orange, if you know what I mean. Oh, and here's another one. Oh, they're all next to each other. Oh, that's something I need. Light yellowish and really a, a pinkish one. Have I got six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and these are just really small amounts, as you can see. But a fair amount of the orange one and a fair amount of the, of the bluish one. 
So those are the ABs, and then we've got a lot of white. And this is 3864. A lot of brown. Brown isn't my favorite color, but for this diamond painting, I'll make an exception. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is a lot, all in the same kind of color scheme. Sorry, I'll do it like this. You see a little brownish. And a lot of 938, which is a dark brown, green, red tones, brown tones. And these are more gray tones. Bit of gray tone. You see? Oh, and this one. Guys, there are just a lot, a lot of colors. Second one. Oh, let's look at it like that. Bags of black, 310. And as I've said, I've never worked with craftably on a craftably. This is the only craftably that I own. But the drills, of course, you need to work with them first, but it all looks really, really good. Okay. That's it guys, there are a lot of colors, so I'm just going to show you like this. Oh, this is a really nice soft beige tone. Okay, and here we come in my color scheme, like the red, dark reds, more browns. There are a lot of browns in here guys, and brown is my favorite color. <laughs> But these I love, 775, three bags, 666, two bags, and this is a really pretty color as well. It is a really soft green, you can't really see it, it's a grayish green, 647, and the last one. Orange, three, seven, seven, oh. And two bags of nine, four, seven. Okay, let's see where these ABs go. I'll clean this up and then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, right guys, so I checked a little bit where they go but they are a little bit sprinkled throughout. So I'm really pleased with the way that they use the ABs. So for instance, this blue, this one is used in here. And can you see it? And for instance, in here, just to give some accents. And then for instance, this bright orange, they use that for some accents in the leaves over there. And in this part, you see it back, this is a leaf as well, just to give it a little accent. And then for instance, the pink ones, these, they go in here in the little uh, flags. They make little accents with that, with that. So, and the yellow ones, I saw that those are in these little stars. And in here. 
So I think that will give them really nice subtle subtle use of ABs. And for me that's totally okay. I'm not There are my other cats. <laughs> James and Elvis are little kittens. Well, they're not so little anymore, but they want to make sure that you know that they love this diamond painting as well. Do you like it, guys? Oh, they're quiet now. Do you like her? Do you like Esmeralda? Very good. So, right, guys, that's her. That's my loophole diamond painting, Esmeralda. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this one that you were expecting me to get? It is totally different from my other diamond paintings and I think I'm going to have a blast. I don't know if this one is still available on Craftably. I'll put a link to the website in the description below. They have lots of beautiful diamond paintings. I'm going to enjoy this one really, really much. Thanks so much for watching this unboxing of my loophole diamond painting with me. Uh, if you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And uh, guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next week for another video. Bye guys! And then for instance this bright bright yellow. Um. <laughs>